We go one and three on the best prop bets last week as the only one that came through for us was JJ Aldridge as she was able to pound out Leon Na in the second round and secure that plus 185 on the KO prop. Unfortunately, Smith round one and Bedoya inside the distance do not come through, but we're in the black for that uh, for that event. But we're hoping to hit at least two out of three of the ones that I got for you guys for tonight's UFC Paris card. So let's not waste any time. Let's get right into it. The card's about to kick off, so I want to get this done ASAP. First best prop bet that I got for you guys is going to be for Rebasharat by decision at minus 125. There is a slight possibility that it can finish this fight in the third round. So if you want to sprinkle a little bit of that round three prop, I don't blame you. Or if you have access to one of those books that allows you to do round three slash decision for Basharat, that's probably the best way to go about it. But I think that this is a great spot for him to go out there and wear on the flyweight coming up to bantamweight in Quates and Rodriguez. And we already know that Rodriguez has a bit of a gas tank issue. If Farid can implement his overall game, which is which is what he's been doing over his last 10 fights, which is why he's undefeated, utilizing his striking, wearing on his opponent with the clinch, and then dragging them to the ground and doing good damage from on top. I fully expect Farid Bashrat to be pulling away with his fight and then making it look pretty dominant. Hopefully, he sticks with his decision ways here, and we can catch the minus 125 by decision. Second prop up that I got for you guys, juicy one here, hoping that it comes through another spot. Where I like the round three. We got Reese McKee by uh, in round three at plus 1,200. This is a guy that has gone out there and made a career off of finishing guys late in fights. And that's exactly uh, possible for him here against a guy in Angelusa who really starts to slow down in the second and third rounds of his fights. And that's why we think that uh, Reese McKee should st start to pull away. As long as he can survive the early onslaught, power and striking advantage, or sorry, power and speed advantage that Lusa will have early on in this matchup, we should fully see Reese McKee really start to pull away, really put the pressure, turn up the volume, and possibly get uh, Lusa out of there in round three. So at plus 1,200, that's a no-brainer spot for me. When you have fights like this matched up the way that they are, you have a guy in McKee who's similar to Billy Q, and those guys that really start to put their foot on the gas lane in fights, and you have a guy in Lusa who was notoriously slowing down late in fights, you take the shot, especially at plus 1,200, giving McKee round three. And the final prop bet that I got for you guys here is going to be Volkan Uzmir to win by knockout. He's taking on short notice replacement Bogdan Guskov, who's coming in as a, uh, like I said, short notice, but also making his UFC debut. He's taking a pretty big step up in competition here against a technically better striker. I fully expect... Uh, uh, Volkan Uzdemir to go out there and land a couple leg kicks to kind of debilitate the movement of Guskov and then from there he should be able to let go with his hands and get back to the time where he had no time and get these guys out of there. It's been four years since he's recording a knockout but uh, this is the perfect matchup for him to go out there and do just that and I fully expect him to put the punches together, evade the big shots of his opponent and come back with a big counter of his own to get that early knockout. So Uzumir round one if you want, but I'm going to go with Uzumir by KO at minus 110. Quick summary, Bash Rat by decision at minus 125, McKee round three plus 1200, and Volkan Uzumir by KO at minus 110. Good luck on all your action this week, folks, and I'm, or this weekend, or tonight, I should say, and I'll see you guys again tomorrow or Monday for the Contender Series Breakdowns. Peace.